Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today's video, if you can already tell by the title, is my July empties. And normally I do include my declutters with this, but I'm going to go ahead and actually separate the two just because these empties tend to be a bit longer because I do talk about the products more at length. So I am going to do a separate declutters video. So this is just my empties. So let's go ahead and actually get on to the video. So I'm going to go ahead and go through my makeup empties. And the first item I did use up was this Revlon Mascara. It's the color Stay Over Time, which I think is actually discontinued now or is phasing out. And let me show you what the wand looks like. Yeah, it's like completely dried up. And as you can see, the wand is like pretty clumpy. It is like a natural bristle wand, um, pretty small, tiny. It was okay. I definitely was not the biggest fan of this. Coated the lashes. It lengthened. Didn't really give my eyesh eyelashes volume. So I would not repurchase this. And I don't think you can. Which is fine because it's not that good of a product anyways. And the mascara retails for $5.99. Then on to the Tarte Guard Tinted Moisturizer. Just a deluxe size sample I did finish up. It is in medium. While I did enjoy it because I do like lighter coverage, that's that's kind of all it did was give me a bit of coverage. It is a tinted moisturizer, so obviously it's not going to be awesome. Coverage-wise, the color was a bit too light for me. The undertone was nice because it is yellow tone. And then it had SPF 20, although you do need a minimum 30. So it's not the best SPF out there, but I did enjoy it while I use it because like I said, I'm not a full coverage person. And definitely if you're looking for something full coverage, this is not it. But I enjoyed it while I had it. Would I go out and repurchase the full size? Um, no, I don't think so. And I calculated this to be $5.29. The next thing I have are these pure eyelashes. This 3D Cruda Free Luxe Lashes. Which claim to have 30 wears, but I think I only got maybe two before I tried to wash it and it was just shedding like crazy. So I decided to just toss them. And from what I can tell, it retails for $14. Would I repurchase this? No. Like like one, it's $14, so they're pretty expensive for one pair of eyelashes. So yes, they were very large and volumizing, but that, that's not really my style when it comes to eyelashes. I do like volumizing eyelashes because obviously you're putting false eyelashes for a reason, but it was just like too much. So no, I would definitely not repurchase. Thank God, I think I got this in a boxy charm. The next makeup item I did finish up was this Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Top Free All-in-One um, Cushion Foundation. Really pretty packaging, but like all Physicians Formula, they're so bulky. Like this is such a bulky packaging for no reason whatsoever. It does look like this. It has a nice mirror and it comes like this. Like most cushion, it has that closed top and the cushion in the bottom. I kind of really didn't enjoy this too much. The coverage was okay but it sat on my skin kind of funny and this retails for $13.99 and it's pretty that's pretty expensive for you don't get a lot of product I think you get 0.47 fluent ounces not even a full ounce or anything but we all know cushion foundations don't have a lot of foundations in it in any ways so paying pretty much $14 for this product and not really enjoying the wear. I didn't really enjoy it too much. It was okay. The only real good thing I liked about it is that it had an SPF of 50. So it was good for that. But I feel like it's not very comparable to other drugstore found, um, cushion foundations. Like I love the Wet n Wild one. That, real, that one sits really nice on the skin. And I think that's about $8. It has better SPF than the Wet n Wild one but it just didn't sit nicely on the skin so i wouldn't repurchase this so the next product i did finish up it was from my rolling makeup use up and this is the sephora it's a just a mini kit that they have it's just the sephora cream lip stain which i really enjoy this actually the formula is really nice i love this color 
I think it is rouge. I'm not sure if that's the actual color. I actually really enjoy this to where I took the stopper out. There is a bit of product at the bottom, but um, I did already scrape it out with a Q-tip. So I think I definitely got my wear. It comes in a mini kit, it comes with four for $12, which I actually don't think is a bad price. So these are like $3 each, but I got a lot of wear out of this. Like when they give you this, this whole thing is full. So this took me quite a while to actually finish up. And I use this quite constantly. It's not like a stain stain, I would say, but it does like wear down nicely. It's a very opaque color. I really did enjoy this formula. So I am definitely wanting to repurchase this, but I have a lot of lip, <laughs> lip products in general that I'm not going to, but I really did enjoy this formula. So I would definitely recommend at least trying going out and getting the little mini size because that's just always a better deal anyway. The next makeup product I did finish up was this. I think this, it was a free gift with purchase. The Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number three, which was, the color was way too light for me. And it comes in this really fine tip thing. It didn't come with a lot of product in it. And this mini size, the luxe size sample, whatever you want to call it, is $7.80. And that's kind of expensive, especially for how much product you're getting. I think the full size is $24 and you don't get a lot of product. If you draw in thicker brows like I do, it will go way too quickly. The formula, I would say, was okay. It wasn't like my preferred formula. It is creamy, but not too creamy. Some, some you know, some pencils are like way, way too difficult or way too creamy that they kind of just slide all over the place. If this was not, I would have to say. The formula is okay. I prefer powder in general for my preference. So I would definitely not recommend and I wouldn't repurchase this. My last makeup product that I did finish and I'm very very excited that i finished this and if you did see my rolling makeup use up already i finished this color pop in a maze and it is completely done look at that oh this took forever and it was such a hard product to use after a while because color pop shadows are notorious for drying down and being very hard to use so i had to constantly mix in a primer or an oil or something so that it would get back to its cream state and be easier to use because once it dries down and you try to use it that way all it does is it'll place at least the super shock ones the metallic ones what it will do is place glitter on your eyes and the rest of it will just flake off and fall down and that is why I'm trying to go through my ColourPop formula. I don't want it to all go bad and be so difficult to use that I'm just going to be hating it. Why I did enjoy the color and the Super Shock Shadows are a retail price of $5. I wouldn't repurchase any more ColourPop Super Shocks just because of the whole ordeal. And then also because I'm just not a, like a big fan of these like these type of singles. If I can't put them in a Z palette and use it in a palette form, I, I don't tend to reach for these. And that's actually going to be it for all the makeup. Now onto my skincare. And the first product I did finish up in my skincare was this, the Ordinary Magnesium um, Ascorp uh, Philosophate 10%. I'm just, I'm not gonna, I couldn't even bother. <laughs> I'm not really sure if it actually did anything for my skin. This product was okay and it has like a funky smell. When I did use it and I would use it and spread it on my face, it did go on my skin very smoothly and very nicely and I did enjoy that part but it does have like a weird, uh, it just has like a weird chemical smell. Not that like, not crazy crazy um strong but you could definitely smell it. And I think it does stay actually, the smell just, it's not that good. I would not repurchase this just cause I did not see like an improvement in my skin when I used it and the smell like kind of lingered. And that product retails for $9.60. The next product I did use up was the Kate Somerville Goat Milk. It's still another deluxe size sample that you get with free gift with purchase. While I did enjoy using this, I didn't see the biggest benefit. Like. It did not do more than any other moisturizer that I had. I do have to say it did sink into the skin very well and didn't feel greasy. 
but did it do much else to my skin? Can't really attest to it actually doing anything like more to my skin than any other moisturizer. And this is quite expensive for this Deluxe Size Sample. This actually retails, this small thing retails for $9.55. So I wouldn't recommend and I wouldn't repurchase. The next little Deluxe Size Sample I did get was this Philosophy The Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. Well, I enjoyed the micro beads because I don't feel like it was too harsh. It was just like a facial wash. It, it wasn't even the best facial wash that I use, especially for the price tag. This little thing costs $4, which is quite expensive for a facial wash, for, in my opinion. It does exfoliate because of those micro beads, but did I think it did the best than any other exfoliating facial wash out there? No. So I definitely wouldn't go out and purchase the full-size bottle. The next semi makeup, semi skincare thing was this Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover. And I actually kind of enjoyed it for what it was. So it is an oil makeup remover. So if you don't like that, you wouldn't like this because it does kind of, it does leave an oil film on your face. But it does remove the makeup. I would definitely attest to that. It definitely takes off your waterproof makeup my mascara my eyeliner it does take that off this little sample retails for 373 so while i did enjoy having it and using it while i used it i don't think it's really worth the price i have drugstore items that will do pretty much the same thing without being oily so i wouldn't go out and purchase the full size of this the next product i did finish up was this bare minerals skin longevity product and while i did enjoy this i don't really know what it actually did to my skin it didn't do anything it's a very thin formula very um lightweight it does melt into the skin very well i don't know if it really actually did anything it says it's a uh, empower replenish renew fortify i don't really think it did anything it soaked into the skin and that was pretty much it and then i didn't know what it did after that and for the price which this little tiny little thing retails for nine dollars and fifty cents so for it not doing much i wouldn't go out and repurchase this now this is the last product i have to talk about and i hated this thing this is the dr dennis gross the alpha beta glow pad for the face which is a anti-aging exfoliating self tanner with active vitamin d that was a mouthful it's a face tanner towelette and whoo, you smelled the tanner on your face the whole day like the whole entire day i definitely think it did tan my face uh, it gave me a, quite a bit of a like orangey yellow tint so i did not enjoy that and while i had it on there and i had it on for the full day oh my god did i smell the tanner the whole whole day and i was like ugh, i couldn't wait to like wash it off it wasn't really dark of a tan but you could kind of tell there was a slight tint to it anti-aging i don't they didn't see anything it is only a one use product so you kind of have to use multiples of it but i didn't see anything and then it's exfoliating which i don't really understand how it exfoliates it's just like a towelette and it didn't do much <laughs> so yeah and then active vitamin d i don't really know what what that entails really especially with just like a one use thing so i would definitely stay away from that and that one little thing costs a dollar 90 which isn't that bad but if you buy the whole thing that's like what is it like 30 dollars something like that for 20 i think the full size is like 20 wipes for like 30 dollars or something something very close to that so it's just like no especially with that smell and you'd smell that all day and everything totaled up to be ninety three dollars and thirty five cents so that's pretty good that's on kind of track of what i assumed i would do majority of my products are drugstore or deluxe size samples that i got like free gift with purchase kind of thing for the year total six hundred and eighty six dollars and thirty seven cents so i still have about five more months to hit my goal of a thousand dollars which definitely i'm definitely gonna surpass because i am on track with it um roughly always using up a hundred or close to a hundred or sometimes over a hundred dollars a month so i am actually really happy with my progress so far and what i'm getting done and 
through with with my collection and i do always finish off makeup products so that's great for me because i do have a lot of makeup that i need to go through <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you would like, please like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I thank you guys for watching and giving me a bit of your time. I hope you guys are having a good night or day whenever and wherever you guys are watching this. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. I hope you guys are having a good night or day whenever and when, when, except, except, but it wasn't even the best. The next little deluxe I sample I got was the, um, the,